Hey, what's going on, Maverick Kings? Because my name's Eve Cade. I'm on the channel, and today I want to talk about something that's kind of been like boggling my mind recently. Something that I've sort of been thinking about, and I wanted to address, and I wanted to just see what people thought. Uh, basically, in 2020, obviously, we got the original Evercade handheld, and this year that system has been phased out, and now we're getting the Evercade EXP, which is obviously a more powerful version of the handheld. There's new features, and obviously it's got USB-C charging. Now that's the big thing. Right, and I want to sort of address in this video if I think we're going to get an upgraded, upgraded VS in 2023. Now, first of all, let's consider the fact that, well, the power level of the VS and the EXP is the same, same processor, same you know store, well, same RAM, same all that sort of stuff's the same. So we haven't got to worry about that because if you if they make the VS too powerful, then the EXP is not going to really be powerful enough. So. I don't expect to see us get like Dreamcast or PS2 or Saturn or anything like that on the Evercade VS. Now, what I would uh, say is I do think it is likely we will see a new variant of the Evercade VS in 2023 due to a European law that's going, that's obviously, I don't know much about this law, I know is that I saw some guys from Apple speak about it, and it's basically saying that all little like electronic devices have to have micro or not micro USB USB C charging uh, in future to lower e waste in Europe in European markets and obviously Apple's and obviously said they have to do an adapter for their chargers and basically micro USB C are getting phased out. Now why that's a problem is because if you look at the back of the Evercade VS it's uh micro USB. So to me that it's the main reason we're probably going to see a new variant of the Evercade VS. It's not going to be a more powerful system. It's just going to be a new version of the system where they've just changed the charging port. And that should be fairly easy to do. Because I know with some systems you have to rewire the whole thing. But I'm pretty sure Blaze will find a way to incorporate USB-C charging into the Evercade VS. Whilst, you know, they've done it with the EXP. So, I think that's all possible. Personally, I would like to see this change happen quite soon. Obviously, it's not going to affect me personally. I have a VS; it works. But if you get an, if you, in the future you need to get a VS, or you know your VS breaks, or say you know you're new to Evercade and you want to get a VS, then you're going to get the micro USB, not the micro USB. You're going to get the USB C version, which is also, in my opinion, going to be a better version because those wires are more easily to come by now because more phones use them, more devices use them. The micro USB. Not micro USB. USB C is used by Nintendo for charging. It's used for the Steam Deck. It's used for many laptops and many phones. So USB C is a lot more common, a lot more easy to get your get your hands on. So to me personally, I think that would be a lot better. And if Blaze is listening and Blaze is watching, uh, I, I I know you probably know about the laws since you're a UK company. So if you haven't taken that into consideration, you need to consider it. But it should be quite a simple little fix for you guys because, you know, it's not like it's going to take a whole mass, like, rewiring the entire Evercade network. All you've got to really do is just change the charging port, which should be fairly simple. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Do you think that this law in Europe might lead to Blaze having to make a new version of the VS? If so, would you buy it? If so, would you not? Why? What, what would it mean for you? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, you know, make sure you like and share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all next episode. Peace.